Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing. Um, and if we look at, remember our home supply that I told you we're going to keep talking about? I started about three weeks ago. Well, our June number's out. Now, remember last month when the number came out, we were just over five. And, I'm and I've am and i been telling you that this home supply, that they're saying we have an oversupply of homes is false. It's a false narrative. That's not the reason home prices are rising. Uh, home prices are rising due to massive inflation by Joe Biden and the world federal government's printing money. But last month, this was at five and a half. If we zoom out to the 10 year, Oh, actually, we need the max. I told you within 16 months, we're going to be threatening all-time highs of 12 on the home supply after we bottomed out at about three and a half. Now, if we look at just the growth we've had in the month over month, we were just over five last month. Now we're almost six and a half. So we've had a point and a quarter move on the monthly home supplies because there's a massive oversupply of homes and the numbers are just now starting to catch up. There's a, there's a feedback. There's a there's a, a lag. The homes start to build first, and then in the subsequent months, they start showing up in the numbers. That's how we could easily forecast this was going to rise. Like I said, within the next two to th three to five months, we were going to rise to near seven. Now we're at almost six and a half. After July, we're going to be way over seven. We're going to be at seven and a half. Uh, this is this is going to be way quicker than I thought. Um, this is a major. Oversupply of homes, we're at 6.3 now. We were at 5.1 last month. So we've had one and a quarter percent move. Uh, 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 and one point, we, we moved 1.4 spots up, right? From 5.1 to 6.3. When July comes out, it's going to be probably 7.9 to 8, right? And that's in two months, you're going to go from 5.3 to 8. It's, it, it's going to get bad. You're going to have a massive oversupply of homes, no buyers because home prices are way too expensive. You have a big, catastrophic United States housing bubble that's in the makings and the stage and players are on the field to have a major housing market collapse. And uh, the year over year new home sales were down 24.5%, the largest decrease in 35 years, year over year. You have a massive oversupply of homes. The numbers are now starting to show it. You can see there's a method to my madness on this. Uh, we're up over uh, from 5.1 last month. Coming off our record low of 3.5 just a few short months ago back, or actually a year ago, August 2020, we were at 3.5 and finally stabilizing. But now we've made up all that ground that we've lost from the pandemic, right? The pandemic highs. And then when they crashed, because that, nobody could do anything. So when people bought homes, they were just sucking supply. Um, we've made up all that deficit and now we're gonna go into a major surplus and we're going to skyrocket past this COVID pre uh, home supplies that we're already building. We're going to skyrocket past seven and within 12 months, we're gonna be up near 12 on here, which is an all time high. And that's the last time we had a housing market collapse. Same thing back in the 80s. You had, a, you had inflation and then a depression. In a recession, right? You have a major U.S. housing market collapse coming. I'll keep you updated on that. You need to be getting educated on what's going on. If you pay too much for a house, well, you're fucked. You're going to lose 60%, right? I got some questions on. I'm going to forget. What does this guy want? Give the audience. I'm the man of the audience. Vincenzo's Go Crypto Investing. John Birch Society. I highly recommend taking a look at that. Very insightful. Uh, blah, blah, blah. What do you want? Quant. Right, he wants quant. We'll give him some quanta. Quanta. Right. Oh, say, I see what you got going on around here. You wanna, yeah, say, you wanna talk about the quant, do you? Uh, say. What you got going on in quant is you had that huge pump and then the crash. Remember Brian Stewart back, y'all? Oh, no, this is the recent pump. Did we get higher than the last time? Mm, I think we did. Oh, yeah. We did. We pumped way the fuck up there. I didn't even know. Oh, that was a huge wick. Oh, now you got the volume crashing, right? I think you're setting up the fall, honestly, in quant, right? I mean, you could keep pumping. I don't fucking know. But if I had to guess, I would say you're going to collapse. 
Vi um this auto they seem to like to pump this coin. This was the new pump coin, right? But all the pump coins come to an end. We know that. You can see that's kind of what you're in. You got support and resistance. So you got a little bit longer. So quant, you're gonna do this. And then if you break down, now we'll make this look good. If you break down, your target is this. Point of the breakout. So if you break down, your target is $72, which has makes sense because look at where it comes back down to. A lot of support and resistance in there, right? So it makes sense that if you break down, that's where you would come. If you break up, on the other hand, you got a target way up there. If you break up, your target's $112, which would be make sense too because that'd be a fabulous, glowing, gorgeous, sexy, uh, all in jabroni enticing double top, right? And then you would have a huge crash because you are coming down to $29 and 29 cents. You almost got there right here, right? But as we diagnose, snip out and detect this now, it becomes obvious what's happening here. As this was a huge, in the four hour time frame. you had a left shoulder, a head. Now you're gonna form an even bigger right shoulder. And then you have a neckline and then to the point of a breakout and bam, that's how you get down to your $29 and 92 cents. This is a massive four hour head and shoulder and we're forming the head. Um, whether we have that glowing double top and breakdown or not, your next available chance to trade this would be $76 again. Actually, the neckline is going to be down there at $64, right? So that's what you got going on. You got a head and shoulders and quanta. And then we'll give you some Cardano. I haven't talked about Cardano in a while. Oh yeah, Cardano. This is the uh, the man holding the bowling ball with a club foot bearish reversal pattern, right? We're having a little pop. Now Cardano could come way up there to overhead resistance and then come back into the club foot. That would be the man uh, extending his knee out in the club foot bearish reversal pattern, right? Or you're going to get rejected by the moving averages and come back into the club foot. I'll keep an eye out on that for you. Your upper resistance is ascending now, not descending. And it would be $1.61 is your upper resistance if it breaks up. Uh, we're trying to get a little bit of momentum, but not a lot of volume to sustain it. So be cautious, tread lightly. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. Peace and love.